Okay, it is still January 24th, Sunday afternoon. This is the second in a series of short videos on documenting my first uh, encounter with this um, ALP propane only generator. Uh, the last one was just to uh, fill the oil and get uh, familiar with that part of it. I put the, uh, the door back on uh, for that. It was a little tricky getting it to snap back on uh, because of one of the controls kind of being in the way. But it didn't take too much fiddling to get that done. But I just mentioned it for what it's worth. Uh, since then, what I did was hook up the rubber hose there, and the instructions call for that to be very snug, quote, in the instructions, very snug. So I did put a tool on there, and uh, this is not a toolless operation here. If you're going to take this out in the field, make sure you have, in addition to that large Phillips screwdriver for the uh, access door on the other side, make sure you have at least, or at least a couple of uh, gas uh, pliers to get this point snug here. So the instructions call for me to open the uh, the propane valve and to push a button on the side here which is called the purge. So that would allow some atmosphere uh, to the gas to uh, escape to the atmosphere and fill that hose and get to where it has to be and then according to the instructions here it says once I've pushed that button for 15 to 20 seconds to purge the air that the generator is now ready to start generally requires three to four pulls on the start rope this may require a slight application of the choke so let me show you where that is there's the pull rope, of course, the purge button, and here's the run start. So I'm going to push that all the way over to start. Okay, and we'll go from there. Now, for testing, I have a um, ceramic cube heater there. I tested that with the kilowatt meter inside the house, and at 121 volts, uh, in the medium position, it started up at around 600 watts, then went up to around 800, and then settled down under 800 watts. So I'm going to use that as my test load when I start this. Now it's turned off now, and I suppose, let's see, the econo mode is on, so I'm going to turn that off double check my instructions for that see if it says anything about the econo mode Disconnect all electrical loads from the generator before attempting to start. Well, this heater is turned off. During cold starts, move the choke switch slightly to the right towards the start position. After start, starting to warm up, move the choke back. I don't see anything here that says what mode to start it in, so we'll do it in the with the econo mode off and with the uh, choke partially toward the start position. Maybe right in the middle. So, here goes nothing. Turning the gas on. Pushing the purge button. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let go of the button. Give it a minute or so for any gas that's in the air to uh, disperse. Here we go. There's three. It's not really that loud. Alright, this is about 20 feet away. That's not too bad with the noise. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, the heater on in the uh, the low mode, which I said is uh, somewhere between seven eight hundred watts. Let's we'll see what happens. Uh, there's definitely heat coming out of the heater. And I said I tried it in the house just before it came out here with the kilowatt meter and it varied between 700 and 800 watts.
so much for that. Uh, looks to me like it's uh, a uh, successful first run. If it ran for a few minutes like that, uh, without any kind of varying uh, changes in pace, I'm guessing that it would probably run uh, for a long time. So we're going to just leave it at that for now. And uh, if I think of uh, any reason to make another video on this, I certainly will. Uh, perhaps uh, uh, when it's time to uh, change the oil after a break-in period. But I'll do a little more study on that and uh, see what else uh, I can do. Um, I'm going to try the um, kilowatt meter on this, but it won't plug directly in there because of the ground lug. So I'm going to have to get a uh, at least a 14 gauge, relatively short, three wire extension cord to incorporate using the kilowatt meter. And that'll be interesting to uh, to see what the actual wattage is being used by this um, space heater when it's hooked up to the generator. So I'll end that uh, on that note. Thanks for watching. And uh, um, so far, I really like this um, this generator, and I think uh, if it's reliable and long-lasting, uh, it should be a uh, a good value for the money. And uh, with it being uh, no gasoline involved, and using these convenient clean propane bottles, which I think I'll pick up another one, uh, should uh, be a real good standby generator that could get me through. A, a day or two of keeping uh, just my refrigerator and uh, my small five cubic foot freezer uh, operating for a time and uh, we're pretty well equipped to make do otherwise. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be out.